Today I want to show you how you can grow your own amoebas at home. Amoebas are fascinating unicellular organisms that behave like a liquid. They flow. Their cells can take any shape and feed by flowing around prey like an avalanche. Look, this one swallowed a euglena that is still swimming inside of the amoeba cell. Amoebas are little monstrosities that easily beat every single sci-fi alien out there. There are thousands of different amoeba species. But today, I want to show you how you can grow amoeba proteus. This amoeba species is abundant, relatively big, and easy to cultivate. Are you intrigued? Let me show you how to grow them at home. Please be aware that culturing amoebas takes several weeks, a lot of patience and experimentation. So don't get frustrated. Hang in there. Here is what we need. A bottle of still volvic mineral water. This water is the perfect medium for all kinds of amoebuid creatures. If you don't have access, try other brands of high-quality mineral water without CO2. Don't use fizzy water, it will tickle the amoebas to death. Then we need some pure distilled water, some soil from a garden or forest. It is important that the soil is free from pesticides and fertilizers. Mole mounds are an excellent source of material. The soil can also be dried and doesn't need to be super fresh. Then we need a kernel of rice. This will be part of the nutrients for the amoebas and will be placed directly into the culture vessel. Then we need at least one beaker, one or more petri dishes, a buret to measure exact amounts of liquid, and if possible, a volumetric flask or something similar. Additionally, we will need more beakers, a fennel, and some filter paper. In this case, I repurposed some coffee filter paper. Oh, and a pasture pipette comes in handy too. Next is the most important step. We will need to find some amoebas out in nature. Just sample some material from a pond that might contain amoebas. The pond should be shaded and full of water plants. Take the sample home and leave it sit for 8 to 10 days in a shaded place with a constant temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius. Leaving the pond sample sit at room temperature for some days is called amplification. This process will cause the number of amoebas to increase only to a certain degree, but the population will not grow beyond a certain threshold. The amplified sample is just the basis for our nearly pure amoeba culture with high population density. We will use the pond sample only for inoculation. This is basically where we get our amoebas from. Check regularly with a microscope if you can spot amoeba proteus. If you should have amoebas in your sample, we can start to make the culture medium. First of all, let's soak the rice kernel with a few drops of distilled water and let's set it aside for three days. While we wait for the rice to soak, we can make the soil extract, which will be the core piece of our nutrient solution. Take a beaker and take the soil. Cover the bottom of the beaker with at least one centimeter of soil. Top of the beaker with distilled water. Boil for two to three hours. The evaporated water has to be replaced constantly. Keep it level at 100 mils. After the beaker is cool enough and the material has settled a bit, decant the murky liquid into a second beaker. Cover the beaker containing the liquid and set it aside for three days. After three days, we have to filter the soil extract. But before proceeding, we have to wash the filter paper a few times with mineral water. The mineral water that passed the filter paper and is now collected in the flask has to be discarded. After we went through this process, we can now filter the soil extract. The filtrate we obtain will still be murky, but that is okay. And it depends a little bit on the type of soil we used. Let's transfer the soil extract into a clean beaker. Let's measure 10 mils of soil extract with a buret and transfer them into the volumetric flask. You can use the same flask you used for filtration, that's no problem at all. We top off the volumetric flask with 90 ml of bottled mineral water. Mix thoroughly. The soil extract culture medium for amoebas is now ready. You can proceed to prepare one or more petri dishes and pour sufficiently but not too much culture medium into the dishes. Add the soaked rice kernel to the culture medium in the petri dish. Each petri dish needs a kernel of rice, so prepare this beforehand. Then we are ready to add the amoebas. Use a pipette to siphon off the flaky material that gathered at the bottom of the container we kept the weak old pond sample in. And add a few drops of the material containing the amoebas to the culture vessel. 
Place the petri dish in a dark place with a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. I wish you happy amoeba farming. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. Bye bye.